Hey, what's up guys? It's Lucas and you're watching Fine Tuning. So this is going to be the first video in a series that I do about the songs of Intertwined. Intertwined was my first original band and I'm really proud of all the stuff that we did, both albums that we recorded. So what I'm going to do in each of these videos is I'm going to pick a song, we're going to talk a little bit about the history of like how it was written, what it's about, that kind of thing, a little bit about the guitar parts, and uh, then I'm going to do a playthrough of the song. So uh, today's song is the first song off of our first record and this is called Anthem. So Anthem was written the morning after one of our first kind of bigger shows that we played at a bar called Johnny and June's. Um, it was a kind of a country bar, but on Thursday nights they had like rock night and so we played uh, to a relatively large crowd for us at the time. Um, and then the next morning the other guitar player, Kenan, had stayed over at my house that night and so that next morning he got up and he was like, hey check out this riff I got. And so by the end of the day basically we had written this song. So Kenan is responsible for the main riff of the song. Um, I am responsible for the lyrics and the chorus. And then uh, a little later where there was kind of like a little, almost sort of Rage Against the Machine riffy type part um, that I believe came from Travis, the bass player, if I'm remembering correctly. You guys, if you're watching, correct me. Um, but, and the name of the song, Anthem, it's not anywhere in the song. Um, it was just that when we were recording the song, I don't think we had decided on a name yet. And the drummer, Chris, said, man, this is just kind of like, it's one of those anthem songs, so just call it Anthem. And I was like, all right, so that's the name of the song. So this song is in uh, C sharp, or drop C sharp, so it's uh, E flat, standard, half step down, drop D. And um, some notable stuff about this song is it's got a great kind of, you know, heavy rock riff, um, and it's got some really cool kind of chords that were sort of new to me at the time, like these sort of, uh, almost like add nine type chords. So I came from a background of like more classic rock and stuff like that, so these kind of chords were sort of new for me, something I had never messed with before. So as I figured that chord out, I was like, oh cool, let's use this in a chord progression, <laughs> which is a theme you're going to see a lot in these songs. It's like me figuring stuff out for the first time and then trying it in a song. So there's a sort of like kind of youthful innocence about some of these songs, which is one of the things I really like about them. But anyway. Um, so, and the, uh, of course, I, I'm responsible for like probably 90% of the vocals on the intertwined stuff. There's a few parts where Travis sings some stuff and Kenan sings a lot of the backup vocals as does Travis. Um, and the solo in this song is kind of a, kind of a mishmash of me and Kenan. Um, there's a lick that I play kind of in the beginning of the solo and then Kenan sort of takes over and then in the second half it's like a twin harmony lead thing. Um, which I think is really cool. It was kind of simplistic, but like fit the song, you know, and so anyway, let's check it out. Let's play through the song. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you serious? I was lying about it. It was, it was amazing. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Are we, are we rolling? Yeah, man, go for it. Oh. oh. Keep bottles on the floor. 
Amiga. That's the first in this series that I'm going to do about the songs of Intertwine. That's all about Anthem. So I hope you've enjoyed. Um, I would love to know what you think about the song in the comments below, and I will of course leave a link in the description to Intertwine if you want to go check out and listen to all that music. It's on Spotify and on Bandcamp and all that, and you can go listen to it for free. So until next time, I will catch you later.